Oh my god, that's so cute. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, let me. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Lace Nails live today. Hi, Salcedo. Hello, Juju Marie. Hi, Nigel Queen. Hi, Heather. Hi, Yamaira's Nails. Hello, plain and simple. Okay, girl. Hello, hello, Amber. Hello, Cassie. Hi, Melinda. Hello, Lillian. How's everyone doing? I thought you were soaking them off. Girl, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm not going to do this hand yet. Only because my pinky still is a little tender. Um, so I'm going to be doing the other hand. Man. Oh, hold on. Hold on. One second, guys. I'm trying to pin my stupid link over here, but... Whenever I try to pin stuff, it just doesn't stay. What the hell? So I'm going to end up removing... Um, okay, there you go. I'm going to pretty much give myself a fill on my right hand. And then bling it out, honey. Hola, champagne. You're the best girl. So, I know I had said I was going to soak them off and redo them, pero me metí un putazo on my pinky the other day in the door. It it looks a little red still and it kind of hurts. So, I'm just going to give it a couple more days so I can finish healing. I was opening the door to the salon, the gate, and the lock got stuck. Eva Liberga. So, I ended up cutting it because um, I don't want to hurt it anymore. Because y'all know this little pinky was, this other one had gotten hurt. And um, I didn't have a nail for a good minute. So I was like, mm -mm, not today, Satan, not today. So I'm just going to push back my cuticles. Um, I don't remember how long it's been since I did my nails. I think it's been like two weeks or whatever. But these hands be doing a lot. And girl, I need bling in my life already because... Um, even though these are kind of blingy, just the pinky is not enough. It's not enough for me. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, damn. Sorry, guys. I didn't, um, see the comments. Hola, 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 hola. Ya llegó el asistente. Okay. Gracias, asistente. Que bueno. Llegamos a tiempo. So I'm going to be using my pinche mosca. Te voy a matar a la verga. So I did lose a couple diamonds on this finger. Because it's my busy finger. It's the one that I use the most. Um, When I'm like packaging orders and stuff. You know, these two. So. I'm using my jumbo. Jumbo tool. Whatever it's called. To remove the bling. Well, normally I remove as much as I can with this. My pinky finger is, um, deja la mosca. Hola, Doris. No, me está quedando gorda. Oh, damn, bitch, I broke half of it. Um, I try to remove as, bitch, salió volando. Anyway, I try to remove as much as I can with these and then I'll file the rest. So, no mames, parece que andan mal haciendo en la chingada aquí. Para que vean que el glue sí sirve, ¿eh? Me da miedo, I need goggles, girlfriend. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at your comment. I'm trying to not get my skin. But, bitch, if this ain't proof, I don't know what is. Because today we're going to have a little bling class for those of y'all who still 
it's not really a class, but you know, a little demo. Um, if you're struggling to keep that bling on, watch and learn, honey. Watch and learn. Ay, ay, ay. Tengo miedo. ¿Dónde dejaste esa reina? Está en su casa. She's at home. I'm about to fuck this fly up over here. Be annoying me. Hold on, let me fuck it up with this shit. Where are we at? It's too fast for me. I hear you, you fucking bitch. Do you guys hear the fucking fly? Just kidding. I ain't about to get hurt. Are you saving this life? I gotta go to sleep. Um, I'm going to try to save it, but you know, um, I normally post it on my, on my YouTube. Depending. Oh, fuck. That shit hit me in the face. <laughs> that shit hurt. Depending on how much memory I got is what I'm going to be able to save. My son was like, hold your fire one day when I got him, when I was removed. <laughs> That's funny. Hold your fire. Yeah, they be, they be jumping. I'm afraid I'm going to break my fucking nail over here. This is why you cannot save your Swarovski crystals or your crystals. Because... The back part be coming off when you're removing them. I hate when that happens. I knew it was going. I knew it was coming flying bling. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Fuck, man. All right. I guess those are going to get filed off. Because I be getting a little crazy with the fucking... <sighs> With the jumbo tool, and I be getting my skin. Okay, you need a face shield. I sure do. Let me try a little bit more. No, you know what? Nope. Let's just file it off. Let's call the big boy the bad bitch, the three X course bit from Zelay's nail shop, honey. Okay, lock it in. So this bit is perfect for um, removing bling, okay? You just got to make sure that it's on high speed and watch it fly. Hold on. Okay, honey. Um, yes, everything that I use is on my store. From the bling adhesive, to the bling, to the remover, to the glue. Everything. Sorry guys, I need to shut up just in case some of this jumps in my mouth. I don't want to eat it. No se caen a huevo. A huevo los quitamos. There you go, bitch. Done. Hey. Don't sleep on her products. Hidden gem. Yes, honey. All right. Oh, and then I have one more. This fly really needs to go. It's going to annoy me. The little ones are always the hardest to come off. Like, hello. There you go. Hold on. Let me open the door so this shit can, can fly away. Come on, you fucking fly. Get out of here. Bitch, get out. Get in my fucking room. This hoe flying to the wrong way. I need a 
with lace water. Okay. It's not that white though. Bitch, I missed. Fucking fly, get out of here. The fly went on my on my beautiful art piece. Mm -mm, Felicia, not today. We ain't about to mess that up. Okay, so next I'm going to use um this one. I believe this is a coarse one. So we do have different each little color thing. It just tells you which one's which. I don't remember them by memory, but this one's a 3x coarse. Um, it's good for removing acrylic, bling, whatever's in your way and doesn't want to come off. This one's extra fine. And I believe this one is coarse. And then this other one's supposed to be red, but I took it off and it's fine, I believe. We're going to find out right now. I, I do think this one is coarse. So normally I use this one. Um, hold on. To remove like gel and stuff. I don't know what just purchased me delay because did a cool second set with activator spring. I love it. What, what, what check the question mark on the screen? What screen? Sorry, I was chasing a fly. So the reason why I like to use a um coarse bit is because I don't want to like take up too much book just just the design. I need a little dust collector up in here. So I have like a love and hate relationship with this electric file because it kind of stops. And I'm like, what the hell, honey? Don't be stopping. Keep going. On your screen, it's fine. Oh. Sorry, girlfriend, you gotta ask again if I didn't answer your question. Cause, you know, I'm over here chasing a fly. Trying to get these nails did. What do you recommend for heavy handed people? What do you mean? Like electric file? Or bit? I feel like a dentist, yo. So I love this bit because it removes every little piece of tap coat. And if you're scared to get around a cuticle, girl, you don't have to fear this one. Girl, yes, me too. Does yours get stuck when you lock and you unlock? Mm, not that I know of. I hasn't done that yet, but... I don't know if y'all can hear it, how it kind of like, look. I don't know. I mean, I like it in fast speed, but in slow is not my favorite. Can you do a video on how to reshape your 3D brush? Um... For 3D brushes, you have to be very careful because once it loses its shape, I've never really been able to bring it back to to the point. Um, so you need to make sure that you never lose the point. You have to twirl it around as you dry it. It's not the same as a regular brush. Once that point is gone, I I do not think there's a way in saving it. But I could be wrong. So whenever you use a 3D brush, you want to twirl it as you're like drying it or cleaning it. You don't wipe it like the regular, um, like a, the regular brush. You know how we wipe back and forth? You have to twirl it to keep it pointy. Like overworking yourself. Girl, you need to take a break. It's not good to overwork yourself. Trust me. I'm telling you from experience, when I used to do nails often, like every day, um, I didn't realize how it was affecting my body until I stopped doing nails. 
Now it's like, fuck that, I ain't gonna overwork myself. You know, you gotta work smarter, not harder. So right here, I do have a little bit of lifting because this is my very busy finger. Hold on, let me close my door now because I think the fly is gone. I need the AC to stay in here. Most of the time, um, the reason why you're going to feel pain when you're working on your clients is if they're stiff. So just make sure to ask them to relax. Yeah, my favorite, um, um, what is it called? Electric file definitely is a Manny Pro Passport. I don't know if it's because I've had that one for many years and I'm just used to it, but by far my favorite. Worth, worth every penny, honey. This one does a good job too. I just don't like that part where it kind of like slows down on me. You can get any brand as long as it's good quality. Kalinsky brush. Yes, whatever works for you. Do you actually put the rhinestone adhesive in the fridge? Um, at the salon I would, but at home I don't. The like keeping them refrigerated goes for any kind of glue, not just mine. Um, especially like during the summer. If you have like a hot room or a hot workplace or you leave it in the sun the chemicals do kind of get damaged over time and it does dry up so you want to make sure to keep all your products in cool temperature like a nice room temperature you don't have to refrigerate it but i feel like if you're not using it like if you buy multiple at a time or whatever keep the other ones in the refrigerator Keep all your glues. Bye, colorful rainbow nails. So when I need to use this, then what? My work area is in the basement and it's always chill. Is that okay? Yes, so as long as your workspace is fresh, that should be fine. The only time where I highly recommend to refrigerate is in really hot, hot weather. I mean, if you don't refrigerate it, you're just going to have to buy one faster than if you do refrigerate it because it's going to dry up. You know, like glue doesn't have a really long shelf life. So just by keeping it refrigerated, it's going to keep them lasting a little longer. Like, I just gave away my refrigerator at the salon. I used to have a little one. I gave it up. So, now I have to always have a backup just in case my glue dries up when I go back. But I typically change up my glue every, like, two months. Fuck, I'm getting a cramp on my hand, yo. So y'all excited to see this new bling. So I ended up buying this new bling that I'm going to add to my nails today. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of purple, but fuck it. I guess it has a little pink undertone in it. So a ver que. I thought you were going to soak them off. Um, No, I'm not soaking them off after all. I I was going to soak these off. I'll probably soak them off tomorrow or Wednesday or something. But I hurt my pinky nail on my left hand. And how to call it? It's still a little tender when I touch it. Like my little pinky. So I just want to give it a couple more days before I soak them. Because then I feel weird without nails. So I'll just do these. They're both going to get done this week. So... 
I was like, let me do this one. So I'm going to give myself a fill. And I'm going to use my nude base to kind of tone down my bling. You know, like it's going to be bomb and popping, but it's not going to be like too crazy. Well, it is going to be crazy, but the base is going to be subtle. So I'm just trying to even up my nail a little bit because with the bling, I did kind of um, make it uneven. I purchased your glue and I love it. Your glue is the first I've ever used that actually works. Oh, thanks, girlfriend. Um, yeah, it does work. Trust me. I struggled with this problem for many years as a beginner. So I was like, girl, let me help some sisters out over here. Because I, I used to be embarrassed when my bling fell off. Like, I tried my best to keep it on, you know, like with other glues, but they just didn't really do the job, you know? Especially with those clients who are really rough with their hands. Like, it would be more embarrassing. I'm over here giving them bomb-ass nails and then their bling fell off like in two hours. <laughs> I'm like, no. So I was like, let me share, let me share with all my friends. So next I'm gonna be using my cone cuticle bit. And I'm just gonna go in there to kind of lift my skin off from the nail I swear to god all these tools be sounding like like the dentist so yeah the glue works girlfriends trust me it's gonna be your best friend my sister was telling me that she uses the glue for everything bubbling cause that bitch doesn't bling out nails and she's like I'm gonna need another one I'm like, okay, girl. I swear they need to make these shafts for the freaking bits longer because my nails are so long, I feel like I don't reach. Let me try to make it longer here. Let's see. Do you always have a key or a sky drill or did you ever have something less expensive? No, girl. I used to have a fucking cheapest one. Okay, look, let me tell you. I started off with a $20 electric file that I bought at a nail supply um, where I used to live at. That shit broke so fucking fast. Um, and I used to burn the shit out of myself because I didn't know how to use it. And then I was like, you know what? This shit is too cheap. Let me go on eBay, because back in the day, eBay was a thing. I don't know if eBay still popping and stuff, but back then, eBay was a shit. That's where I would shop. And then, um, I think that drill big, I mean, that drill cost me like $40, $30, 40 Because the bitch was broke, you know? I didn't have no money. I was, I and my son was little, so, you know... I didn't have much extra extra dough, so I was like, fuck it. I need to invest in this because the $20 one fucking sucked. Well, let me tell you that $40 one sucked too. I was removing my bling and that shit stopped working. Like, it was not strong enough. <laughs> the little motor was not strong enough to remove my bling. So then I went onto eBay and looked for a replacement handle. No, I'm lying. I think I went to try to go fix it, and they told me that they didn't fix it. I had to buy the handle by itself. So I was like, okay, fine. I go and try to get me a new handle, and that shit cost me more than the fucking whole thing. It cost me $80, and I was like, what the fuck, bitch? But then I'm like, you know what? Bitch needs a new electric file, so let me get this handle and hoping that it was going to be better, right? Well, it was a little bit better, but let me tell you that shit fucked up on me too. Because I'm a clumsy ass and I drop everything. So one day I dropped it like this and it messed up. But it did last me a good, a good couple months. And then I got introduced to Koopa, Koopa Inc., which is the ones that saw the Mani Pro. And, um... Party in the house. It's about to get joined the live Raina. Oh, she's in here? Hey, sister. So then um, 
I ended up, how to call it, buying my first Koopa drill, but that one was the $100 one, the cheaper one. And I kept that one for a good minute until I was able to afford the the Manny Pro Passport. I don't remember if I got it for myself for like a birthday or what the hell, but girl, I had to save my coin too. So that's why I always tell people like don't look at it as spending money. Look at it as an investment. Because now, girl, I can use anything that's not like Koopa. I mean, I am using something else, but I don't like it. I had a question I didn't order today. When will it be shipping out? Ma'am, you need to be patient. No, just kidding. Um, so normally the order ship out, I mean, we process them two to four business days. Um, the weekend does not count. So depending on when you order, it should be shipping out soon if it hasn't already today. Um, but we're working as fast as we can. Once your order does ship, you will receive an automatic email with tracking. Unless you enter the wrong email, then you won't get one. But if you don't receive anything within like five days, then message me and then I could get you your tracking number. So right here, I'm just going to remove the lifting very lightly so I don't burn myself. I used to clip it off with nippers or whatever, but that just causes more lifting the more that you like pull. So I don't do that shit anymore. I just gently file with my sanding band and get into that nail. And I normally don't cut my cuticles. Normally when I hand file, I mean, when I file this part, um, my sanding band will remove any little, any little skin that's on there that I haven't like trimmed or whatever. Cause you know, ain't nobody, nobody trying to cut no skin. So right here, I have a little bit of ink or some shit. I'm trying to take it off. No, girl, don't nip your lifting. I actually had a client a long time ago who was a nail tech too. Um, when I was starting, she would tell me that she would just put glue in the lifting and then file it off. I was like, what the fuck? Like, girl, you tripping. Like, I was a beginner, but I knew that was a big no-no. If you ever go get your nails done with another nail tag, please do not tell them what to do. Or try to do your own nails in front of them. This girl, she would snatch my file while I was in the restroom and try to file her own nails. Like, girlfriend, what the fuck are you doing? Hold on, let me turn my sanding band. Been rewatching your two videos when I saw you was going to go live like it's a reality TV show. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. Anybody else in here? If you haven't gone to subscribe to this YouTube channel, what you waiting for? So another thing that I kind of don't love about this electric file is that even at it's slow, it's still pretty fast. I'm like, no, slow down. Like, I'm used to my super slow speed where I know I'm not going to cut myself if I go fast. I mean, if I get near my skin, I felt that. What what you guys feel? The nail tech part? My cousin did that at the nail shop. Oh, hell no. What name did you end up picking for those glitter acrylics? Um, I ended up picking Hot Kiss. I ended up, um, what is it called? So I picked two of them that were my top favorites from the ones that I got to read. And then I did a poll for my followers to help me decide. So at the end, it ended up... Um, that hot kiss was the winner for the, um, what is it called? The glitter, the pink glitter. And then the other one was 
Um, what is it called? I forgot the name. Hold on, I had a little brain fart. Something peach, I think. It's on the website already. I already put them up. I'm sorry if I can't remember the names, but I already reached out to the two young ladies who um, picked those names, and we're going to send them their free little acrylic. I have a bad memory, so I don't remember, but they're up on the website now. I kind of wanted to use the peachy acrylic, but I'm like, no delay. You're going to do bling nails, maybe on my fake hand. I subscribed as soon as I knew you had one. Oh, thanks, girlfriend. I'm so excited for my bling. Look, let me show you guys the bling I'm going to be using today. I couldn't decide if I just wanted to do this one, the Fuchsia. But then I'm like, nah, it's called Fuchsia Shimmer or whatever. It has like a blue undertone. So I'm going to be mixing it up with like blues and you know the AB. So girl, aren't they beautiful? They're already up on my website because I know y'all going to be like, so when are you going to put them up? So today I came ready, ready to tell you they're up. So we can all be twins. I really wanted to do my nails yellow, but nah, I can't. Many Pro Passport is better than... I think it is. In my opinion, pinches uñas, muévete. I need help. In my opinion, I think so. I've been using it for such a long time that I feel like it's just the best. But that's just me. I've used so many other ones, like as Becca, but they just not bomb bomb. So this is what the nails are looking looking like after I file them. Now let me just remove the dust so I can prep them. I'm sorry if I'm not reading all your your comments at the moment, but um, I will try to get to them. Whenever I get a chance. Is that the chameleon box? No, this one is not the chameleon box. This one, I I fixed it myself with the acrylics. The chameleon box is... Mm, look, I'll show it to you. I have it right here too, actually. It's really cute. Where are you, chameleon box? The chameleon box is purple blue. As well, but this one is more purple. The other ones that I'm going to be putting on my nails is more like pink. It's called Fuchsia. This one is more purple blue. And it has like, I don't know, like rainbow shifts. Super pretty. Maybe I'll do a set on my hand with that one. Oh, look, I actually made a nail with that bling box. Ooh, honey, it's so beautiful. I actually made a video, but I haven't posted it. I forget. I record a bunch of shit and then I forget. Like the hand piece is the biggest problem with e-file. Um, actually, the little boxes are just um what supplies the power to them. So the important thing is the hand piece. That's where the motor is at. So right here, I'm just applying some Bond-Aid. This is not primer. This is a nail dehydrator. It's optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I was taught to put it on, so a bitch puts it on. And then I'm going to be putting nail primer. This one has um, acid in it, and this one has no acid. So normally, you have to put two coats of a primer, so I put one and one. That's my personal preference, and it works amazing. So I like to put the acid base first, and I remove the excess onto the napkin, and then just go in there without touching the skin because this does kind of like expand. You don't have to get near to the cuticle. It will do its job. And if you do happen to touch the skin, it's okay, bitch. You're not going to die. It's just going to sting a little, but 
you'll survive. And then with one with one um time that you dip it, you could actually do all like a whole hand. Or maybe right now, just because I'm doing a fill type of thing. But yep. You do the that coat. And then we go in with the no acid, no burn. I'm just gonna prepare my monomer. Oop, what's back here? I'm gonna prepare my monomer and my my acrylic. Sorry for my dusty dampen dish over here. I'm gonna be using my smooth set monomer because it's my favorite, and because it's the only one in my face right now. So depending on what I'm going for, I'll use smooth set or the dip and ombre one. And I'm going to be doing um, cover pink nude. Where are you, ma'am? Where are you, cover pink nude? Give me a second to get some. Cover pink nude, where are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, ma'am. Why are you hiding from me? I hate when I use my, I misplace my own powders. Where to go? Does it ever happen that you have them like right in your face? And then you cannot find it? Well, I feel like it's in my face. I just don't see it. I was even thinking of doing um a glitter just to change it up a little. But I want to keep it subtle. So, no. MMA is the devil. Well, I do not use MMA. Your shop have international shipments? No, we only ship to Canada at the moment, but that's it. And to the United States. I'm trying to work on opening up to other, other places as well. Let's see. I spilled the acid-based primer by mistake yesterday and it got on my arm burned. The fuck out of my arm, girl. No, do not, do not spill it. It does sting. I think I spilled them on my leg once. That shit hurt. Especially when um, glue or chemicals come in contact with like cotton. That's the worst. That'd be giving you some chemical reaction type of thing. Well, since I can't find my cover pink nude. I don't know where it went. I'm just going to use... Cover Nude Twinkle, just to kind of fill in the growth. It's somewhat similar, but with a little bit of glitter. I guess that will do the job. Sometimes I take my acrylics to the salon, so then I'm but you know. All right, give me a little napkin. And these are just shop towels because everybody always asks me. Um, what kind of towels are these? I bought you rhinestone glue and I can't wait to use it. Ooh, yes, girlfriend. Let's see. Y'all be really careful. Hold on. With your chemicals so harmful. Yes, you have to make sure to open up a window, crack a window, and, um, make sure there's, like, good ventilation where you're working at. Okay, so I'm going to start with my thumb. And I guess since it's just a little bit, it won't be noticeable that it's like a whole new color. Oh. Yes, honey, I'm excited. I wish I could just skip this step and get to the blinging. So whenever you're doing a fill after like... Um, Three, four weeks, your apex starts to move. I mean, mine hasn't really moved anywhere, but I'm still going to add a little bit here to kind of reinforce it, you know? And just so that the glitter kind of 
blends in kind of nice. Let's see. Do you own the salon you work out of? No, I do not. I actually rent a room. I don't think I ever would open a salon of my own. But who knows? Who knows? Do we have any salon owners in here? Tell us your your pros and cons, please. Oh, thank you, Amber. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. So this feels going to be pretty easy. You know, it's just nude on nude. Just with a little bit of glitter because I guess I do get to put on some glitter. As a beginner, your products have helped me improve my nails. Yay, Snuggles. That's good. I love to hear little reviews. Shit, when I was a beginner, girl, they had horrible products. Not horrible, but they didn't have variety like we do now. So, sometimes I wish I would have started to do nails now. Y'all are lucky you got Zule to share her knowledge. Because fucking other bitches, when I started to do nails, they didn't fucking share shit. They were so stuck up. They didn't even tell you hi. Or respond to a comment. But I try my best to respond to comments. So if y'all ever left me a comment I don't respond, it's because I didn't see it. Because if I see your comment, bitch, best believe I'm going to respond to it. Even if you're talking shit to me. Or at least I'll give it a little heart. I wish I, I would have found you as soon as I started. Oh, well, it's better late than never, right? So, I mean, it kind of looks similar, huh? You can't really tell. Just a little sparkle. Have to drink a little coffee, guys. Hold on. More power to you. Thanks, thanks. Why are you rolling your eyes, though, honey? What do you recommend me for learn English and start conversation. I have anxiety and I start conversations with other people. It really scares me. Um, well, pretty much just be like, do you have boyfriend? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, just ask like regular questions. That's normally what I do. I used to be scared as shit to do people's nails too. Not gonna lie. Um, I never really thought that I was gonna do nails on people because I was kind of nervous. But now, whenever I meet people, I just be like, so, what do you do for a living? Or do you have kids? Or things like that, you know? And then the questions start, it starts flowing. Or they'll ask you questions and then you answer. Oh, 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 comments. Hey, girl, it's the precise word for me. Hi, Juju. I'm moving to another state soon. Do you think booth rent or commission is a way to go? I... Don't know about commission because I've never worked like that. So that would be a great topic. If you've worked both, can you drop us some comments? So I feel like if you don't have any clients, commission is the way to go for you to gain experience, in my opinion, I feel. Okay, don't eat me alive here if I'm wrong. Um... Because from what I do know is like if you do work at a salon that's busy or whatever and they have a good flow of foot traffic, you'll get customers like that. Whereas uh, you rent a room or a table or whatever and then you have to get your own clients, then it's a little harder because not only do you have to buy your own supplies, you got to pay rent. And you got to find your clients. So it's a little tougher, but it's not impossible. And with commission, you don't have, I don't think you buy your products. I'm not sure. 
I think you use the products from the, the salon and you don't pay rent. That's why you split your earnings. So it depends. It could be either or. Um, you're amazing. Thank you for your tips. Oh, thank you. What is your brush size? This one is Kolinsky number 12. This one is the unicorn glitter handle number 12. It's late for coffee. Ooh, I, I, it's never too late for coffee for Zule. On the camera, you can't even tell it's another color, right? But look, let me get closer. You can see a little sparkle. They're very similar, but one has, um, one has glitter, one doesn't. Oh, this one doesn't have nude. Girl, I know when I started, girls won't share. Not even a little tip. They used to tell me I pay my education so I can share it. Yup. Uh, some people don't. I mean, it's good to to share. Oh. Like, I love to share, but I'm not going to give everybody the answers, you know? Because it's like school. You got to learn and go through things, you know? And figure things out sometimes. Pero pues, some things is like, bitch, really? You can't tell me where you bought that purse. Or that sweater, or that nail tip, or that brush. You know, like, back then, you would be like, ¿Dónde compraste esto? Ignore. Block. They were a little more stuck up. Now, I feel like people have changed a little bit more. Or they're forced to change. Or I don't fucking know. I'm not sure what happened, but... I've always tried to share my knowledge with everybody because that was kind of fucked up where people be like ignoring me and shit. It's okay, yo no preguntaba mucho. So right here, I'm just going to add a little bit more thickness that I removed from earlier when I shaved them off. Ooh, that glitter is so beautiful. Okay, let's see. Ever do short nails on yourself? No, girl. The, I used to back then, but not anymore. I don't fuck with no short nails because I feel like I can't do shit. People be like, oh my God, como haces cosas con esas uñas? It's like, girl, I be feeling like you when you put nails on. No, you can't do shit. I can't do shit without nails. That's the way I like to explain it because la verdad, no? I'm not trying to be rude or nothing like that, but I can't function. So right here, I'm just going to reshape them a little bit. I mean, they still look perfect, but you know, get on. ¿Qué estás tomando? Like what coffee? Um, I just made a coffee from my Keurig from the Starbucks two times caffeine. <laughs> just. You look, watch me at 12 in the night not being able to sleep. I love coffee. Hold on. Let me get my iPad so I could see the comments better. If I had it charging, so now I think it should be charged enough. Let's see. Let's see. Log in, bitch. Thank you for the tips. I'm still learning. Oh, thank you, honey. No chingues. The bling adhesive is too good. A bitch couldn't even remove the damn rhinestones. I need a tutorial on removal. Girl, did you miss this part of the removal? I did that today. So, um, if I do get to... Oh, shit. Hold on. If, I, if I'm able to save the live, um, check it out on, on, on YouTube. I'll post it as, like, fail removal or whatever. So, you can see the struggle. Y casi me matan los diamonds aquí. The tips look like, but we'll see if she says. Oh, yeah, these are the 2XL Coffin No Seeker. Correct. Good eye, girl. Oh, my God. I love your stuff that you sell. They're good things and a good price. Thank you. I try my best to offer a great price all year round. So no me anden pidiendo por discount code, ¿eh? Porque yo trato de darles lo mejor a lo baratón, ¿eh? Y también les enseño cómo usar las chingaderas. 
Thank you very much for paying the full price. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure what time I started. I think I started at 7. I don't remember, but Instagram normally kicks me out a la hora. So when it does, I'm going to try and save it so I could put it on in the YouTube para todos los que no pudieron llegar porque son responsables y están trabajando. I just kidding. I was looking at tips on another side and they were $32. I didn't realize tips could be that much. Well, with coronavirus and all of that, shipping has increased a lot. Um, I never realized the business side of everything, but once you buy a lot of one thing, shipping can be very expensive, plus importing tax and all that good stuff. So that plays a big role on pricing. And then also to pay, you got to pay your employees if you have any. So, Zulema beginner and I'm struggling with cuticle bead. What are your most vital tips for laying acrylic at the cuticle? Um, I highly recommend for you to point your finger down for sure because that will make your uh, the bead flow down instead of towards your cuticle. And then, oh, I'm dropping my glue over here, honey. Hold on, let me move my shit. So another tip is you have to learn to work with your products. Every brand works differently. So how to call it? Um, for example, you have a brand that's a little bit more runny and it's your favorite for the summer because it dries a little bit faster or whatever. Um, if you know that the product dries a little slower instead of putting it down right away and it flows everywhere, you hold it a couple seconds, like three, four seconds on your brush if you know that it dry smells like bitch pick it up and bam and start working you know so that's one thing that you need to know how fast your acrylic moves because if it's too slow it'll run into your cuticles but always have it face down so it just flows downward um how do you make it on your own without, without what? Without ever doing commission. Um, well, for starters, my bills were not expensive. I started back then when minimum wage was $8. Um, I have, I had an amazing boyfriend and now it's my husband that supported me a lot. So, Pretty much, um, I didn't start doing nails full time, like at a salon, until I made enough to pay my personal, like my personal rent, like at home, which I didn't really pay much back then. So that's how I started. And I pushed this shit. If I didn't have fucking nails, bitch, I'm going to make a phone case. And if... That phone case ain't selling. Then bitch is getting another job in the meantime. It's going to be a side hustle. And once I didn't want to do side hustles besides nails or whatever. Then I don't know if you guys are familiar. But I the they're called um, It Works Body Reps. I used to do those too on my clients. So while I did their nails, I used to put them on them. And then I make extra money through there. So there's no excuse, bitch. There's different ways to make money. You know, y el que quiere va a poder y le va a echar ganas. I'm over here getting fucking tired just filing over here. Filing away. I mean, I almost quit a couple times. But, bitch. I didn't. I'm still here, Okay. And let's see, read homegirl's comments. She dropped it like four times already. Which homegirl? Let's see, where are you? Nails by Lala. How do you make it? Oh, wait, I read, read that. How do you use your non-dominant hand? I struggle with it. Girl, I struggle with it too. But this is not my non-dominant hand. This is my left hand. 
I'm a lefty. Um, girl, I buy one of your Kalinsky brushes and I love it so much, but my dumbass brain forgot to clean the brush when I was putting acrylic on hard. No, girl! Dip it in acetone. Leave it there for a while. Hopefully it dissolves. But do not, whatever you do, do not stick it in acetone. Please do not stick it in acetone. Let's see. Just get some brush cleaner, girl. What inspired you or motivated you to create your own nail product line? Um, To be honest, since I started doing nails, I've always had a dream to have like a, my own products, my own brand, period. No matter what it was, I wanted to have my own brand. Because I truly believe that I was brought to this earth to motivate some hoes, you know, some hoes that are on the other side of the screen. <laughs> no, but yeah, bullshit aside, I really truly believe that I'm here to inspire and motivate other women and men. And um, I, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do, but little by little, I was like, you know what, leave me. I tried so much shit during the first couple years that I did nails. And some things didn't really work good. Some things did work. But I was like, you know what? Me as a nail tech, I know what works for me. So I want to be able to provide some great products for other women. Um, And along the way, I was like, bitch, I could fucking start my own brand. Something that I've always kind of wanted. So I can be like, oh my god, girl, I did that. Or whatever. And... I don't know. It just kind of went on its like it just flowed. I started off my store actually by accident just for a hobby cuz I'm a little workaholic. And then it just kind of flowed. But I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to last cuz bitches be fucking crazy. <laughs> it's so hard dealing with people. I'm about to go back to work at McDonald's so I could cuss everybody out there and just get fired. Like, bye, Zilei. ¿Cuál file usas para el shape? ¿Qué número es? Um, esta es 80 by 100. 80 por 100. All of, do you recommend people that just started doing nails to work in a salon to obtain practice? Just finished school, but I feel like I need a practice still. Um, actually, when I got my license, I started doing nails for a few months at my house and like on the go. And then, um, once I was able to find somewhere to work at a salon, I hopped on that shit because I did not see my growth, um, as on my work until I started doing nails every day. And when I worked at home, I did not do nails every day. So I do recommend. And it forces you to push yourself more because you have a responsibility. Like, bitch, you got to pay rent at the salon, you know? That's just my personal opinion and what I feel has motivated me. Because I could have just sat my ass at the salon waiting for people to come and find me. But no, girl, a bitch had to pay her house rent. A bitch had to pay her fucking room rent. And pay herself. So, a huevo had to go find my clients. So, bitch, best believe I went and looked for them. Or on social media, but I found them. Let's see. Move that length. Just use some acetone and condition it with monomer. I wouldn't recommend that acetone. Just try the monomer by itself first because acetone dries up your brush. Trust me, I I ruined a few. I stopped for a minute, but I got pregnant and was low-key depressed, but I'm back at it now. Yes, girl, get it. Giddy, giddy. Okay, sorry guys, I'm skipping all these questions because my shit is not moving. 
I want long nails, but nobody around me does them. Oh no, girl. You need to find somebody that does long nails. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody does them. There's a lot of nail techs that are looking for nail long nail clients. Because we got a lot of the shorty ones. Like me, I'm gonna start accepting long nails only from new clients. So if you've been wanting to be a new client, you better pay attention to them notifications because I'm going to be taking some every month. How did you grow your clientele? Oh, I think I just said that a little bit. I went to look for them. I made business cards. But to be honest, the one thing that I'm going to tell you that helps is having your nails done. Okay? Okay. Having your nails done 24-7, flashy as shit, bomb as fuck. I mean, if you basic, then girl, throw some diamonds on there or some shit because nobody's going to really um, come up to you and be like, oh my God, I love your nails. If they're just nude and short. Like, yeah, somebody's going to compliment them because they're cute, but you're not going to be catching no eyeballs like that. So the thing was que a mí me gustan las long nails. So... That wasn't an issue. Obviously, back then, they were not this long. They were shorter. I think my nails used to be, like, right here. But they were colorful, vibrant, bling, bling, 3D, like, llamativas. And everywhere that I went, they will be like, oh, my God, a ver tus uñas. And, like, let me see your nails. And then I'll be like, mm. And then they're like, where'd you get them done? And then I'll pop out a business card and be like, here you go, ma'am. I do them myself. You do them yourself? Oh, my God. So they'll be like, damn, if those shits, if her nails look bomb and she did them herself, imagine what mine are going to look like. So then they'll call me, text me, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, whatever the fuck it was that I had. And that's the way you get a client, girl. So if you don't wear nails, girl, you better fucking start wearing them at least for a week. That's going to be your job. Go out to La Costco, La Target, Walmart, somewhere, bitch, and go show off them nails, okay? Um, Where in LA she work at? I work in East LA, honey. You're nude and almond girl. Oh, my God. Your pinky is long. Oh, yes. I Whee. Come on, tablet. Stop moving. Yep, and got long, long. Fucking iPad, stop moving, you bitch. What's your nail drill called? Um, This one is called the Beyond Pro Table Nail Drill. Gracias, mija. Bendiciones. Thank you, bitch. The long C-curve coffin tips hit different. Right? I recommend C-curve nails for... People with wider nail beds looking for a slimmer look. Just saying. Those are my favorite because I have wide nail beds. But um, I go from different tip. Every month I have a new fucking, like I feel different. Like, ooh, today I'm going to try these. Today I'm going to try these. <laughs> Did you ever go into the salon on your days off to practice? Girl, that you no me sacaban? Of course. When I didn't have a client tune after I did my little runs to go find some clients, I'll sit my ass at the salon and I'll do a nail or two as a sample. Back then, I used to have little fingers, um, the little deditos that would sit on the desk. And those were my samples to my my clients. Like, oh, this is what I could do, you know, because... You also have to show them what you're able to do so they can want it. Because if you don't have no, no, nothing to show of your work, then they don't know you what you can do. So that's another thing. Um, have samples, pictures, or something for them to look at so that they can want it too. Like if they see you with no nails, no design, no nothing, they're never going to ask for it. Because... They don't know what you got. So here and there, throw a design on your hands and you'll see they're going to be like, Oh my God, que chido. Hazme una 
flor de esas también. O ponme bling bling. You know? Uh, let's see. I just received my package. I'm not trying to redo my nails yet, but I can't wait to use my nail prep and bling. And he said, girl, redo your nails. Okay? Redo them. My clients love them. Yes, honey. I do one of those little fingers daily. Okay, Heather, get it, girl. Yes, do a fucking finger, a swatch stick, or whatever stick. Um... Or a hand, like one of these. Look at, ooh, honey, you like it's so sparkly. And then you'll have a client like, oh my god, what is this? I want that. Is it new? If you tell them it's new or whatever, they're fucking gonna want that shit. So if you don't like to buy new stuff, bitch, you better fucking buy new shit because clients love to feel that they're the first ones to use shit. You know, it's like when you have a new pair of shoes, you wanna wear it. You know. Can you share a story with a caring client? We all have those at one point of our life. Um, Let's see. Well, I always kind of share this story that I had this lady. And she was such a pain in my ass. Actually, let me switch it up. It was another lady. Um, She was just so fucking picky. Like, I don't know. I think she had like OCD or something. And she'll be like, oh, let me look at your bling first. Or look at, let me look at this before I choose. And I'm like, hello, ma'am, you need to hurry up. No, actually, she wasn't a Karen. She was really nice, but she was just take forever to choose her stuff. But she had to look through all my stuff to decide what she wanted. But the Karen one, this lady, she would offend me left and right. Tell me. That I need to take another class so my nails could last longer, even though my nails would already last her a good minute. She wanted them to last longer. She would not let me file her, I mean, soak her nails. She made me file them all down all the time. And she would complain that I was charging her too much. When I would take a fucking whole day to do her nails. And I charge her less than $100 for four different services, bitch. Can y'all believe it? Like, fuck that. You know what she told me? That one day when I charged her, like, I think it was like $90. I did her four services. It took me 10 hours. I didn't take a lunch. I didn't even stand up to pee because I was scared of her. She told me that it wasn't her fault. I take a long time. That I should not be charging her per hour. And I was like, the nerve, the nerve, lady. Why don't you use your Mani Pro e file? Because it's at the salon. It might be old school, but I have a photo album at my station. I have one too, actually, but nobody sees it. They just look at Instagram now. But I have it just for backup. What bit are you using, girlfriend? Um, I'm using the X, the extra fine bit from my website. Because it's safe. It's my BFF to go around the cuticle and just remove all these files. She was very much giving broke bitch energy. Well... I didn't know about that because I was a broke ass bitch, you know? <laughs> I just wanted to work. Even if I got fucking stepped all over or whatever because a bitch didn't have no clients and I had shit to pay. So I was like, okay, fuck it, whatever. But once I did start getting more clients, I fucking let her ass go. I was like, sorry, Felicia. But... I got other clients and I don't be got time to be servicing you. So if you a customer, anybody's customer, and you'll be acting special as shit, girl, bye. Get out of here. Don't be doing all that type of shit. <laughs> what speed do you use that extra fine bit? Um, This one is, right now it's at 10,000 RPM. It's 
pretty slow. The fuck does her skin color got to do with it? What skin color? What you guys talking about? Damn, she was... Damn, not was she... What? No, she was not. To be honest, I don't really remember what ethnicity she was, but she was not... Okay, guys, let's let's relax. Ignore that comment, but not to get personal, but I'm curious to know if you charge per hour. That fee doesn't go towards the nail set price. Mm, no, I don't charge per hour, but that lady was crazy assuming that I did. But if a set does take a very long time, then I do consider per hour. What all did you what, what, what all did she use to get done? Oh my god, live about to go insane. Yes, I agree with the chubby. What chubby? Have you ever had a new question? Your prices like the disrespect? Girl, yes. I have actually. Um this girl once she was like how did she tell me? Um, so she asked me for all this shit on her nails. This was a, like four years ago or whatever. And I still gave her a really good price. Um, she asked me for bling, charms, cheetah. Every finger was different. And I charged her like $75, like four years ago. And she was like, when she paid me, she was like, damn. $75? Like, I was kind of shocked. Like, does she think it's too cheap or too expensive? Like, I couldn't tell. But then after she was like, this is the most expensive nails I've ever had. And I was like, okay, well, girl, they are hooked up. So, I don't know where you be going. Because I highly doubt anybody... Like, bedazzling you like this for less, you know? Especially if they're Swarovski crystals. Because I don't know if people don't know how much Swarovski crystals cost. But, bitch, they don't cost no fucking penny. They charge... I mean, they cost more than that. Like a dollar to a piece if they're big. Um, So, she, like, offended me. I was like, ah! I'm like, and she's like, next time I'm doing my own nails. And I'm like, okay, well, next time do your own nails, girlfriend. Like, the fuck? Like, it irritates me when people be like, this was actually pretty recent. They're like, so how do you come up with your nail prices? And she wasn't a nail tech. She was just trying to make me break down her nails or whatever. But it's like... Girl, get out of this chair already. Some people just don't understand how much time and effort and product it takes to do a full set. But do your own nails, girl, and you'll find out. I'm over here getting hot, getting mad just thinking about these people. Let's see. Why does it matter? Oh. Okay, let's skip that one. As a beginner, what products do you recommend? Well, not just because they mine, but mine, girl. They all beginner friendly. They great price. Um, but Valentino, I feel, has good, good products. Young Nails, I recommend too. Um, I like me a secret, Nudes. But... Mm, their colors, I don't recommend for like a full nail. More, it's more for 3D. Those are good too. I love Vanessa Nails acrylic powders. I have her whole collection. I haven't really bought any recently, but I do have her one of the collections um, that she released, like the entire line. Um,